Hey everybody, welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I'm gonna answer the question, can you charge a standalone lithium battery using the DC output of a power station? Now, before jumping into any tests, we first have to understand how one of these lithium batteries charges. Now, this is a 12 volt, 50 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery, and it charges with a constant current, constant voltage charging method. And I'll throw a image up on the screen so you can see how that works. Right here, I have one of those chargers. It's set to 14.6 volts. And when I connect it up to the battery, it's going to put 10 amps into the battery until the voltage hits 14.6 volts. And then the amperage will flatten out to zero and the battery will be full. The regulated DC output for a power station functions very similar to a constant current, constant voltage power supply. For example, on the Blue Eddy AC200 Max, right here we have a 30 amp DC output that's regulated at 13.5 volts. So if we connect the battery up to the DC output, it's gonna charge at 30 amps and it'll stop charging the battery at 13.5 volts. So the key here is how high of a voltage do you need to get the battery charged and what is the voltage output for the power station that you have? So here on the table, I have three different power stations. I have the EcoFlow Delta II Max, the Pecron E1500 LFP, and the Blue Eddy AC200 Max. Now, each one of these power stations has a different regulated voltage, so I wanna test with that 50 amp hour battery to see how full it gets when we charge with each of these power stations. Now, I wanted to set up a control for this experiment so we could see how this performed with an actual charger, so I used this constant current, constant voltage power supply to charge this to 14.6 volts. I then discharged it with my battery load tester, and I was able to get the full 50 amp hours or 640 watt hours from this battery. So now that we know we can pull full capacity, let's go ahead and see what we get using the DC output of those power stations to charge this up. Now the first power station I experimented with was the EcoFlow Delta II Max. Now the DC output for this power station is regulated at 12.4 volts. Now before I did any testing, I completely discharged this battery until it shut off. So once it was completely discharged, I connected the DC output to the battery and it was charging the battery at around 100 watts and then it tapered off fairly quickly. Now once there was no power coming out of the power station, I checked the voltage on the battery using my voltmeter and it was 12.47 volts. So it didn't charge that high. I then discharged it with my battery load tester and we were able to get 1.34 amp hours or 15.29 watt hours. Meaning that uh, because the voltage was so low, we were not able to charge this up very high. So keep in mind, if you're gonna wanna charge a battery from the DC output, you're gonna need a higher voltage than 12.4 volts. The next power station I wanted to experiment with was the Pecron E1500 LFP. Now I like this power station because of the dedicated 30 amp DC output, and they also include a battery charging cable in the box that you connect to the positive and negative terminals and it has an inline fuse. Now this output is regulated at 13.4 volts, so quite a bit higher than the EcoFlow Delta II Max that we tested earlier. Now I completely discharged this battery before starting the test and once I connected it up, it was charging at a full 400 watts. Now once the battery voltage increased, that did drop down to around 132 watts average and after eight hours, it was still charging at around five to seven watts, but I decided to end the test. Now checking with my voltmeter, it was sitting at 13.42 volts. I then decided to discharge the battery using my battery load tester, and I was able to pull 500 watt hours or 39.74 amp hours. So impressive results, quite a bit higher than the EcoFlow Delta II Max. Now the final power station that I tested with was the Blue Eddy AC200 Max. Now this also has a 30 amp DC output and it's regulated slightly higher than the Pecron at 13.5 volts. Now I did completely discharge the battery again before the test and once I connected it up to the DC output, it was charging at 400 watts. As the screen was showing zero watts, I knew the test was finished, so I checked the battery voltage. Now it was showing 13.5 volts when it finished charging. I then took my battery load tester and discharged this battery to see what we would get. And as I discharged it, I was able to pull 614 watt hours or 49.30 amp hours. So even higher results just because of the extra 10th of a volt. So the higher the DC output is on your power station, the more that you're gonna be able to charge up your battery. So pretty impressive results with the Blue Eddy AC200 Max. We almost got the full 50 amp hours. Now these experiment videos are really fun and I'd love to test these things on the channel. Now I will put up the final results on the screen so you can see 
Basically, the overview is the higher the regulated DC output, the higher that you're going to charge one of these batteries. Now, wouldn't it be nice to have a power station with a regulated output around 13.8 to 14 volts? you would really be able to charge up one of these batteries basically all the way. If you are going to charge this way, I would recommend to use an inline fuse. You'll want to check the polarity to make sure it's correct before connecting up to your battery. And also you'll want to use the proper wire gauge size. So just a few things to keep in mind. Now, if you have any other ideas that you'd like to see on the channel, please throw a comment down below. I love doing different experiments and maybe your idea will end up on the channel. Now, of course you can use other chargers I do have a recommended list of chargers that I'll include down in the video description. There are AC wall chargers, there are just a power supplies, and there are solar charge controllers. If you don't want to charge with your DC output, there are plenty of different ways to do it. Anyway guys, this was such a fun video. Thank you for watching. Please smash the thumbs up button if you like the video. And also, did you guys know that most people that watch my channel are not subscribed? So if you like the content, I invite you guys to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on future videos. Thanks for watching. Hopefully we'll see you guys in the next video.